Hey guys, so today I have this really exciting Halloween look for you and it is a Aztec princess inspired look. I really love the way it turned out. So I'm just gonna step you guys through it. The first thing I'm doing is applying a foundation. This one is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless because I did want a really flawless finish that so would last all night on Halloween. Then like normal, I'm going in with my concealer under my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead and also on my chin. My base is pretty typical uh, for normal face makeup. It's just after that that it becomes a more Halloween-y tutorial, I guess you could say. Once again, like normal, I'm going in to set all of that concealer with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is a really light powder, so that's why I'm using this one. And then I'm setting the rest of my face with my Astralis Flip, fresh and flawless. I'm then going to go in with my brow kit, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like I normally would. So you guys can fill yours in how you typically would. And then using some sticky tape and I'm applying this across the top of uh, kind of my face so it's gonna go across the eyebrows and line up with the ends of my tails because this is how I'm going to get the really sharp crisp line across the top of my look and then going in with a red eyeshadow on a synthetic brush and I'm applying this along the edge of the tape. I'm just holding that tape so that it's nice and taut and we have an exact line at the top of our look there. So I'm just going in with the red eyeshadow all the way along and then I'm going in with it and bringing it further down each time I add some more and make sure it's all blended. I do go in along the top with a darker red just to give the top really defined look. Once I have the red looking the way I want, I'm going to add in some orange. So I decided to start my orange at eye level, but it's up to you how far you want to bring it down your face. So I'm just adding the orange and I'm blending it into the red as I'm adding it and I'm just building it up to the intensity that I would like. So blending it out, going back in with some more orange, blending it out and I'm just continuing with this process till I'm happy with the look. And then going in with yellow, I'm using this on a flat shader brush, however I then decided that didn't work so I then went in with the another dense synthetic brush and I just kept building this up. The yellow did take quite a while to build up to the intensity that I was after and then I'm just blending it into the orange making sure there's no harsh lines. I decided that to blend that yellow in I wanted to go back in with a bit more orange so I just kept building that up and now I'm peeling the tape off trying to keep it out of my hair and I have a really nice harsh line and then just going in with a brow bone highlight. This is just a shimmery white colour and I'm applying mascara to my lashes. I didn't wear false lashes because I wanted the focus to be on the colours across the face but you could wear them if you wanted. This is definitely my favourite part of the look and I'm just using a white eye pencil. This is a NYX pencil and I'm applying dots across my forehead. I'm also applying them or drawing some along the top of my eyebrows following the look of my eyebrows. I'm drawing a couple of stripes down the side of my face and then I'm drawing a stripe from my bottom lip down to my chin. So you can adapt this to however you want. Uh, but this was just what the inspiration picture that I looked at uh, looks like and I really liked the way it looked at the end. So you just do what you're happy with.
this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.